Hey guys, here's 3 d Nation, and today I'll make my first tutorial um, about how to do this with Cinema 3D and um, Turbulence FD. Okay, this is an explosion and um, I've not seen a tutorial on YouTube yet for this, so I just do one. Okay. First, we'll make a new project, and um, then we can create the FD container where our simulation will happen. And then we need an object where the emitter emits from, and I'll just choose a sphere but you can choose whatever you want um, we make the sphere, sphere um, smaller and put it on the bottom of the container now we can first set the settings that there that the turbulence FD will s uh, emit Something we need a turbulence FD tag on the sphere. Then we just put the fuel value to 1 and we don't need density or temperature because the fuel will emit um, these both by itself. We go now to the turbulence FD container and go to the Simulation tab. There we first change the active temperature, the cooling to about 10%. And then we go down to the density, activate it, and the cooling to about 5% is good. Then we have to activate the fuel tab. And there we need some editing. Yeah. Um, first, we set the expansion to about um, 100. Make a keyframe. Go forward and about the third frame, we do another keyframe and set the expansion to zero. Um, then the temperature temperature emission, this is how much um, the uh, fuel will emit the temperature. This is the same as if you go to the sphere and look and what here you would um, here set it to one but this is more complicated so the fuel will do this for this for you. And so we set the temperature temperature emission to 20 because an explosion is really hot and then the density emission to 5. Now we can go to the viewport, the channel to density and we can try to first simulate the You know, see, the explosion is there, but um, it doesn't go up, there's no really explosion. And to get this effect, we just need a box, Pre also create a box, make it the container say size, and put it on the button so it's a little bit in the sphere. If you look closely, just a little bit, like this. Then you make the box a uh, turbulence FD emitter and make it to a collision object. And if you hit simulate again, it will look like this. Maybe 
it sees a little slump. But now you can see it goes upwards. And that's one we want. And now the challenge is to get all the blue parts of the simulation to um, smoke and the red and brighter parts to fire. So it looks realistic. Okay, I just stop it here and then we can go on. Now you see if I render it's just a huge fireball. This is because of the render settings in the Turbulence FD container. First of all, we have to change the smoke, smoke shader to the mapping to density because the fuel uh, emits density and like so the density will be used in the render. Then we change the color because it's a darker color by when explosion when it's explosion like so yes now we need to set the thickness to about 1000 and that's it for the smoke shader i think yeah then we go to the fire chainer um, then just set the height temperature to, to, to yeah that's right uh, no changing there the white point to 0 0.34 and the damping to 0 now if you if we look again you can see there it's white, but oh, I have to. I have to simulate again because the smoke will come a little bit later. And this simulation was too short. Sorry for that. I'll just skip it in the video. Okay, it simulates still, but um, I can shout to you now. Yeah, this is what we have right now. And as you can see, there is smoke, but we need a background to see it correctly. It's too dark the background at the moment. And then we have the dark smoke, but it's still a, build a little bit too much fire, I think. Yes. Okay, then we go to the render settings and change the... Um, no, we, we have to go to the simulation and just put down the temperature emis emission to about 10. And then the temperature cooling to about 15%. And then we have to simulate again. And that will... Um, affect the temperature that will it'll be invisible faster or I know it's just um, the cooling and when the temperature is too cold to render because it's no fire more anymore then it's, it's it's away invisible and that's what we want because the fire is just if few frames after emitting there okay ok 
Okay, I skip this again. Okay, it's done. And what we can see here is the bright part parts are fire and the blue parts should be smoke. Okay, when I render this out, you can see it looks pretty good. If you want better results, you can just put uh, down the voxel sites to about 0 0.3 or less, but you have you need a good computer for this, I think. And for the tutorial, I just leave it like this. And if you want to change the type of the explosion, if you look here, it's, it's big and it just gets cut off in the edges. edges. And then you can just easily um, change the ex expansion to 50 or what you want whatever you want and that's basically it and now you can create your own explosions with Cinema 4D and Turbulence FD so thank you for watching and I hope I didn't confuse you with my German accent and bad English so goodbye